It is Saturday, November 16th. I'm probably yelling again. I'll try not to. The wind noise is just ridiculous though. And if I put on earplugs, it's even worse because then I really can't hear my own voice and then I start shouting even louder. So I just have to get used to talking so low that I don't really hear myself, but knowing that I am actually talking loud enough. So currently the plan is, well, I should say the plan was to take a quick ride out to the local cemetery just before it got dark. Unfortunately, that plan is not really happening right now because it is dark already. It took so long for me to get ready uh, after I finished my job. I got caught at, you know, nightfall. I'm still going to try. I'm going to basically just ride straight in take a quick loop and ride straight out. I hope that it's short enough that nobody bugs out and calls the cops and saying, oh, somebody's trespassing in the cemetery at night, you know, anything like that. It's only 5.04. You think that they would allow people to still come in a little bit later because it's, it gets dark so early. Making a U-turn on this thing is a pain in the ass in traffic. And I, <laughs> I didn't want to stop. All I did was turn right. We'll make a U-turn over here. Christmas market, huh? December 7th? I mean, I know I could just go against traffic. I don't like doing that anymore because I've noticed that some people are just fucking crazy. I'm sorry to say it like that. Maybe that's my viewpoint because I'm older now and I'm just crotchety and angry all the time. But honestly, that's what it feels like. Oh, damn it. I got caught by the light. All right. I hate stop on this thing because I hate having to get back on. It's always a pain in the ass. I really have to practice getting on this thing. Nobody coming that way. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little more squirmy today. It's, uh, like I'm really off balance. I don't know if maybe the wheel needs to be calibrated again. It's a possibility. I actually never thought of that. Uh, I didn't think that about having to recalibrate the wheel after they unlocked it. So that might actually be causing problems for me. But we're not going very far. Now I did want to avoid this road because this road tends to be... See, I, I, already I'm yelling again. This road is kind of a busier road and it has a lot of... It, it's not... It looks wide, but because of the parked cars, it doesn't have a lot of space for cars to pass because it's both busy kind of narrow and there's a few blind turns somewhat blind turns it's just a recipe for disaster anyone could just who's not paying attention just side swipe me and actually I'm gonna go this way to avoid that bullshit so we're gonna go this way and I'm gonna turn my light off and I'm gonna leave just the wheel light on because clearly it's already dark I could probably tell them if somebody comes over and says hey you shouldn't be here I'll be like oh I didn't know but there's a sign in the front that says private road and that is closed at dusk so I shouldn't be there and I can see that there's lights in the little office mausoleum thing so clearly there's somebody there they may just decide to call the police real quick we'll try to do this very fast and hope that nothing happens I forgot how fucked up this road is all right this is probably a mistake definitely a mistake actually this is all gravel um, it looks like they redid this road and by redid it, I mean all they did was um, <laughs> coat it with gravel. I do have plenty of light though, so I can kind of see the potholes. But this is definitely not the smartest thing for me to do. Now, I'll be honest with you, there's more than one entry point to this uh, cemetery. So I could have easily come through a different little spot. and But it just looks even more suspicious doing that. And I don't want to do that. And you might be wondering, why am I doing this in the first place? Well, I actually wanted to do this in October. I wanted to do this for Halloween. I wanted to just do a little ride just before it got dark. You know, kind of a spooky thing. But unfortunately, my schedule didn't allow for that. And I figured, you know what, let's just do it now. It's the weather's still fairly warm. I'm going to go this way. Some of these roads are not, are, are actually worse than what you're seeing right now, assuming you can even see it. And uh, I got to be extra careful here. But yeah, this is, what the fuck was that? Um, all right. Just gotta be mindful. Oh, this is rough. Yeah. So there are a lot of deer running around in this cemetery pretty much all the time. 
And uh, you got to be careful with them, first off. I hear a dog barking in the distance. That could be just somebody's dog. Or it could be... got to go this way. See, these little side roads are kind of rough. So I got to just stick to the main loop, try not to bust my ass. Um, the fact that it is already November and there are no leaves left on the trees makes it look cool, but it also makes it so that you can see really far out and therefore people can see really far in. So all of these people that live around here are basically seeing these really bright lights rolling through this road in the cemetery that is technically closed. So I'm not trying to rush and bust my ass, but I can't linger too long. Uh, Cause again, I don't wanna, I don't have to deal with some bullshit where somebody shows up and is like, you're not supposed to be here, you know? I ain't gonna lie though. Um, it is a little creepy. It, it really is a little creepy uh, to be riding through here at night, especially not in a car where you are somewhat protected. But I don't think I have to worry about any of the residents here. I only have to worry about visitors, other visitors, if you, if you get my meaning. It ain't, the, it ain't the dead I gotta worry about, it's the living. Oh, they did a lot of work over here cutting down trees. Yeah, a lot of work, holy crap. Why'd they do it? Okay, so that's definitely a neighbor's dog. Oh, nice motorcycle. So yeah. Um, hi, doggy. Hope you don't jump the fence. So right there's a the street, so I could easily just jump out of here if I needed to. But uh, I don't think anybody's going to bother me too much. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I got to remember when I get home to calibrate this wheel and hope that by accessing it through the app, I'm not actually causing more problems. But, um, yeah, I should have, I just realized I should have put this camera, the, the pocket too on my helmet instead of the action camera being on my helmet because I'm turning a lot to show things and the action camera probably doesn't show anything at this point because it's just so crappy when it comes to low light and it's probably on 60 frames per second too so it's really not showing anything whereas um, this one is at 30 frames per second so I'm probably only going to use, I mean, I'll, I'll probably put the action cam footage if it shows any little thing, you know, try to mix it in there. But which way should I go? I think I got to go this way, actually, to get out. Nope, I was wrong. This is the circle. All right. Well, we get another quick pass. That's fine. Um, let's get out this way. Okay. All right. Because there is a spot where the road just kind of turns into like a dirt mess. And it's also downhill. And I really don't want to accidentally get on that part of the road. And then, you know, either fall or have to jump off and walk it. Because that'll take even longer uh, to get out of here. It's weird. There are so many little like solar lights that people have put on the graves. Which I've never seen that. Before. Oh, look at that moon. Never seen that before. Um, you know, the solar lights on graves. But look at, I don't think you can see that moon, but it's very red, meaning it, it's just, it's just above the horizon. Once it gets higher up, um, it'll be white again. But it also makes it look really, uh, forgive me, I'm trying to focus here. It also looks really uh, reddish. Oh, fuck. Um, all right, I think this is the right side of the road that I need to be on. Okay, oh shit, look at that. Okay, you see that? I don't know if you can see that big dip. You probably can't. Big old pothole, there's a car coming. All right, I'm just gonna get out though. They're not gonna bother me. Might be police though, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
block that. There you go. Okay. Okay, it wasn't police. So that was an entire family. And I'm guessing they're going to visit a grave, which is odd for them to do that now. But I'm out, so I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's okay. Maybe they don't care. Maybe the, the, the groundskeepers here don't give a shit. Um, I'm assuming that wasn't the groundskeeper because why have your whole family in there? Um, like little kids and everything. So, all right. Okay. So that was just a quick nighttime tour of, uh, I, I think this is the Middletown Cemetery. Can't remember for sure if that's what it's called. Well, they're selling that little house. A lot of houses for sale. All right, I'm gonna turn this bright ass light off because now it's just gonna bother people. And we're gonna go back the way I wanted to actually get here, which was through the little downtown area because that's a little bit safer. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn, rotate, there we go. And I'm just gonna turn this way. All right. Okay. There we go. That was a bit sketchy, but what can you do? What do you mean do not enter? Oh, I mean, I can enter. I'm not, I'm technically a pedestrian, sort of. What is this? The One Way Cafe and Pizza. Oh, that's new. Huh, oh, look at that. A lot of new stuff going on over here. I love how it says do not enter, but you know, a kitty with a, I don't know, a mouse or a bird or something. It says do not enter and there's a car clearly going the wrong way. And no, he doesn't know what to do. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Yeah, she realized it's a little too late that she fucked up and in front of a precinct. So we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna go back this way. Okay, there we go. Now, what's the best way back? Best way back is probably this way. So I'm not gonna go through the, the entire downtown area um, for a bunch of reasons. One, it's the long way, and two, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, I guess, considered like that time where people are gonna be running around in uh, going to bars and shit. So Friday, Saturday, around this time, I tend to not wanna be here around certain times, just because some people don't realize that just one drink is all it takes to ruin somebody's day if they're driving. Yeah, I'm noticing that the wheel feels a little bit, it just feels off balance. I'm having to constantly adjust. I'm guessing it's out of calibration, so I'm gonna have to fix that. The light is still red. I can go this way. I can go around and then I can wait for it to clear, wait for it to clear. It's not clearing. Okay. So we're going to go this way and then we're going to quickly turn this way. There we go. Look at that. Light's still green for, for them. Okay, I can go this way. There we go. So this is actually the way I wanted to go uh, in the first place because even though there's a lot of twists and turns, um, as you can see, the road is pretty wide and there's not a lot of people going through here. So it's less risky when riding. But I also wanted to quickly get to that cemetery while I had some daylight left, just in case. Like I said, it's not about how dark it is, it's about the fact that you're not supposed to be there after it gets dark. And, you know, I could always say, oh, well, it wasn't dark when I got here, but by the time I got out, it was dark. So let's go this way. Yeah, oh, perfect, the light just turned red so I can go and not worry. All right, not terrible, not terrible at all. I do have to do something about this wind noise. I mean, really the only thing I can do is just start wearing my motorcycle helmet again, but all right. That's where I'm gonna call it. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you wanna see more. And uh, with any luck, I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care.